Incidents of domestic violence continue to rise in so many communities. And did you know that a large portion of those victims are stalked first? In tonight's I-Team report on protecting your privacy, our chief investigative reporter Jonathan Teen is taking a look at how smart home devices and even your home security system can all be used to cyberstalk you. My abuser was able to utilize our home technology to stalk and harass me, even from thousands of miles away. Furiel Nijem says she was abused by her ex for years and calls it cyber abuse. Nijem says he had access to her smart home technology, like security cameras, lighting, and sound systems. You're asleep in the middle of the night, and all of a sudden, over the sound system, comes this blaring music that startles you awake. That's what would happen to me. She says the ex was watching her come and go with the home security cameras, and he would send her text messages threatening yet another sleepless night. When I would leave the home, I would get a phone call within 30 seconds. Where are you going? Today, smart home security systems like this are mostly controlled with a phone. Of course, they're meant to keep you safe, keeping track of who comes and goes from your house. But now imagine if a stalker hacks your profile and from miles away can now track your house 24 hours a day. At first, Nijem had no idea he had access. Eventually, a police officer did lead her to a domestic violence counselor. I was forced into a shelter because of the situation. As for simply changing a password, Nijem says getting out of a stalking situation is just not that simple. You don't have that level of control. Um, there are consequences to those type of actions. And her story is not an isolated one. He took over my entire online life. Thomas asked we shield his identity because he still fears being cyber stalked by his ex. He took over my email accounts, my social media accounts, even my online banking. Thomas says that after a bitter breakup, unbeknownst to him, he was being tracked because his ex had hacked his ride sharing apps and showed up at the same place time and again. Knowing a person's location is key for a stalker. He knew where I was going, where I was coming from. And then the worst, a hacked text message blast to his family and friends outing him for the first time. Because of my very conservative Christian upbringing, my family had no idea. The mental abuse, I say, turned into physical abuse. It's something that is definitely growing. At Safe Horizon, a leading victim assistance organization, experts say cyber stalking often leads to violence. It's more likely that a person who stalked an intimate partner relationship that is going to lead to physical violence and even lethality. From 2013 to 18, the NYPD made more than 3,500 stalking arrests, 64 percent included domestic violence. It eliminates the need to do physical surveillance, if you think about it. Ari Maharis heads the FBI Cyber Division here in New York. He says with 5G's faster processing speeds coming, many more devices and potential vulnerabilities lie ahead. In 2022, they are estimating 30 billion devices. Each one of those devices represents a door or a window that can be opened, if not locked securely, Nigem says when smart home technology turns into a weapon, you may not make smart life decisions. Get the help to get yourself out of it um, and don't have shame in that. There is nothing shameful about going through something like this. Jonathan Deanst, News 4 New York. Well, and even for your own protection, Ari Muharis, who you just saw there, the FBI recommends using dual authentication whenever possible. To find out more about your own cybersecurity, just head to our website, NBCNewYork.com. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can stay up to date by hitting the subscribe button below me. Also on the left, you can see some of our latest updates, investigations, and features. We'll see you next time.